Okay, children. So let us discuss an example. When the flux, electric flux, is surface to be taken as positive, when it is to be taken as negative, and when it is zero. There is a slight confusion. Why should we take the normal outward sometimes, inward sometimes? For that clarity only, I am doing this example. You must have seen this example in many books, but nobody gives any clarification regarding why we should take normal inwards, why we should take normal outwards. So, for simplicity, I am considering a cylindrical surface, and there is electric field from left to right, as shown. This is the electric field. The direction is from left to right. These two flat faces. Are having a surface area A. This is like a tabla. Surface area A. Let this have a surface area, the little surface area. Let this be yes. So first of all, I want to calculate flux entering the left face of the cylinder. Flux entering the left face of the cylinder. So here, normal is always. Normal is always drawn outwards. That's what general the common sense is. Normal unit vector always to be taken outwards. Okay. Now, first I am here. I want to see that how much flux is entering. When flux is entering, where I should stand? Here I should stand, and I, I want to count the number of field lines going into the surface. So when I am here, the normal to be towards me. He is the observer now. There is always a reference point for calculating flux. He is the observer. Now when he is the observer, normal to be drawn outwards. Outwards means towards him. So what is the angle between field and normal vector here? 180. So flux entering is equal to E A cos 180. You know the formula, cos 180 is minus 1, so I am getting the flux entering as minus A. That means flux entering is negative. Okay, next. Here the flux comes here and then flux comes out. So I want to calculate how much flux is coming out. Means I have to stand outside the cylinder and I am the observer here. I want to count how many field lines are coming normal to the surface out. So now, now also the normal to be drawn outwards. Now the angle between normal and field is zero. So the flux leaving flux leaving equal to E A cos zero, which is equal to positive. So E A. So with this we need to understand where, in which direction we should take the normal. In books it is written that normal is drawn outwards, 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 like that. Same problem appears, the same problem appears when you calculate magnetic flux. Okay. So here flux entering is negative, flux leaving is positive. Then what about the lateral surface? This surface, the curved surface of the cylinder. Okay. Here the field is in this direction. Normal is like this. Angle between them is 90. So the flux to the curved surface is zero. Now tell me what is the total flux through the cylindrical surface? Total flux means flux to the left face, flux to the right circular face, and flux to the curved surface. Flux to the left face is minus EA, flux to the right face is EA, flux to the curved surface is zero. Total I am getting zero. Okay, this is how we have to calculate the electric flux through a surface. Done.